Hey, hey, it's Johnny here. Benvenuti. Welcome back to my kitchen. I got to tell you guys that uh, meet and eat that we had that YouTube live stream on Saturday really touched my heart. My thanks to the hundreds and hundreds of you who participated. I'm so grateful for your support. So everybody was saying, Johnny, get back in the kitchen. Well, you know, we're on uh, lockdown here. So I can't have Jeff and Gwen back here, but I was itching to cooking. So Jeff and Gwen set me up with a, a technology and gear, and here I am. I'm doing the whole thing. I'm doing the cooking, and the cameras, my actually my iPhone, is going to record this for us. So let's get going. Let, let me tell you what I got. Uh, we're going to do two dishes. Uh, the first is uh, fennel that uh, we're going to bake in the oven and I got the oven going. I'm going to do that one first because it takes a little bit of time in the oven. And then we're going to do some Petrali sole that I'm going to flour and we're going to cook it in this pan with some butter and olive oil. And when it gets nice and golden brown, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to finish a pan sauce with uh, capers and white wine so butter and olive oil i think i already told you about it okay let's get cooking so this is the um this is where i started i was down at the market today and picked up a couple of bulbs of fennel so they're pretty ugly looking what i do is cut the top off here get a flat surface clean up over here and any of these outside tough leaves i'm going to pluck them off. I'm saving a couple of fronds over here in case I feel like uh, adding some fresh flavor to the dish when it's out of the oven. So this is a real simple one. Salt and pepper. Oh, I forgot to tell you. So I cut that into wedges and in that pan of hot water back there, I bo boiled these until they were knife tender. So this is what we mean about knife tender. Take your knife, Stick it in there, goes in and comes out easy. So I'm arranging these in a small casserole and I'm just gonna add some olive oil. Just to moisten them up a little bit. And then some salt and pepper. And some sea salt. Now, we're gonna take a nice hunk of Parmesan, and I'm gonna to try to cover all of these wedges with uh, the grated cheese. Because when this goes in the oven, this is gonna, the cheese is gonna get nice and toasty on the top, and it's gonna add a whole new flavor element. But I love fennel. I eat it raw. I eat it cooked. And today I'm going to eat it this way. This is a recipe, actually, that I learned a while ago from a friend of mine in Venice. Never had it this way before, but it's so simple. It's going to go in the oven now, 425 for maybe about 10, 12 minutes until I see everything's nice and crispy. Oop, I'm going to turn this one over because it didn't get enough Parmesan. Got to give it another little sprinkle. Okay, abundance. Uh, there we go. It's really going to be a mellow side dish. Okay. In the oven, about 10 minutes. Remind me if I forget to take it out. Now, let's get to the featured item. This is a Petroli sole. I just got this down at my fishmonger. It's really nice. I noticed though, when I unpacked it, there's uh, this is where the, uh, the bone is and they take that out. I noticed a couple of these are split. This one I think is still uh, whole, but we'll deal with it. You know, I told you, you roll with the punches, whatever, whatever happens in the market, 
you uh, adjust. So hopefully I'll be able to keep these some, somewhat together. Again, very easy. On one, on one side, I've given, I've given this a, some black pepper. You know, I think I'm running, I'm running out of uh, peppercorns. So I still have some that I bought in Italy the last time. Brought it home. Let me put, let me put a couple of grapes of this in. There we go. Okay, that's working good. Don't be so hard on me. This is the first time I'm doing it. And by the way, if this works, we're going to launch Lunch with Johnny. Every once in a while, I'll come into the kitchen. I'll set up my gear. And I'll show you how I'm making that day's lunch. So a little bit of flour. And I'm going to turn this pan on. And just make sure I get some flour on both sides. Not much, just a little bit to help uh, crisp it up when it's frying. Okay, so that one looks good. This is one that I thought was split. Let me shake some of this off and do the other side. See? See that little split in it? We'll try to keep this whole. And this one over here. Same way. It's a, it's got a little split in it too. What are you going to do? Okay. So that's that. Where's my mop pee? Here it is. So to the pan, I'm going to turn this down to medium high. We're going to add some olive oil. And the, the olive oil here is going to give it a little bit flavor, but more importantly, I think, it's going to moderate the uh, the oils in this butter. We don't want it to get uh, to brown. So I'm, I'm going to start with a teaspoon. See, see how much we need. I got a big pan over here. It's starting to sizzle up nicely. Mix the olive oil and the butter together. See this? Nice and nice. Hey, we're going to be eating quickly because this doesn't take long at all. I'm hungry too. Okay. So we'll take these now. But the, it didn't melt. Let me, let me get the heat up a little bit. Get this butter fully melted. Take your time in the kitchen. Okay. So here goes number one. And we want a gentle flame. We want enough heat so we're going to be able to get some color on this. I'm estimating it's probably going to be a, a couple of minutes. I need, oh, I'm getting a nice little sizzle. That's a good thing. And here's the last one. Okay. And they fit. Oh, I did, I did need a big pan. So I don't know if you can hear that sizzle. It's now on... I guess medium high. We're going to keep an eye on it. So here's a relatively new tool for me. I, I only have one square spatula, but I decided because I'm cooking more and more fish, I wanted to get a fish spatula. So this one has some flex to it and it's asymmetrical. So we should be able to get under this easily. I'm going to keep an eye on it. Let me get rid of this dirty dish. Save my place. I'll be right back. That's that. This stuff we don't need anymore. Clean my board a little bit. Okay. Let me get back over here. Oh, you didn't remind me. I got to check and see how the fennel's doing. Finocchio in Italian. It still needs a little time. If it ain't ready by the time we take this out, I'm going to turn it on a uh, high broiler and then I'll help Chris, Chris up the top. So these look like they're doing well. Just 
just going to make sure that they're not going to stick on the bottom. So they've been going maybe a, a minute or so. I only want to turn them once. So let me just take a peek over here. Yeah, a little bit more on this first side. Ah, they're getting there. They're getting there. So you don't want to overcook these. I'm going to flip this one. Let me see. Nah, another second. By cooking it this way, the edges are going to get nice and nutty. It's going to really be a flavorful dish with a few ingredients, and it's a quick preparation. Okay, let me turn this one over and see if I'm not happy. Okay, that could have stayed a little bit more. We'll, we'll turn it back over later. And then I'm checking my fat here. I may need a little bit more butter. And another little pinch drop or two of olive oil. So just adjust as you're going along. You'll see if you have to add something. And I think I'm going to even increase this heat a little bit. Let's put a little bit of olive oil in there. Okay. Mix that all around. I'm going to try this second one. Let me peek under here. Okay, we're going to flip this one too. And this one's a little fatter, so I'm going to leave it alone. Make sure it's loose there. And I'll bring my plate over here when I'm ready to take them out. Because after these are finished, I'm going to take them out, plate them, and then I'm going to finish the sauce with the capers and the white wine. Check this big one. If I have to, I can hold back on that side a little bit. They're, they're holding together pretty good. I'm increasing the heat a little bit because I want to get some color on this design. So I'm now probably up pretty close to high just to finish these off. They're still a little soft, so they, they need a little bit more time. Ah, check on the fennel. Let me see. Since we're maybe about a minute away, I may have to put this under the broiler. Let me see. Yeah, see, they're just starting to... So let me go from the oven, shut that off, and let's go to high broil. See if we can finish these off. Mmm, it starts to smell good. Turn this down a little bit. See how this one's doing on this side. Okay, that one broke. What are you going to do? Okay, so we got some nice, nice color here. Turn this piece over. We're going to be eating soon, folks. See how this guy's doing. This one's split. What are you going to do? It's okay. It's still going to be good eating. And let me look at this one. Let 
people don't want to behave over here. Okay, so we got some color in this. So I think these pretty much are going to be done. So I'm going to plate them up. This one first. Plate down over here. This one second. Okay, I'll take a piece at a time. You don't want to overcook these or else they're going to get a little dry. This piece. And this one. Some room for right here. Okay. Now, some capers. I thought this was going to happen. Hold. Hold on. Hold on. I got to get some out through my hand. Okay. Here's the capers. Here's the white wine. Helps if I take this off. Okay, let me get all that goodness off the bottom. And this is going to be the pan sauce. I'm going to let it reduce. And then we're going to put it over the fillets. The trolley soles, one of my favorite fish. I love flat, flat fish. And now I'm looking here, and I think I want more capers. And I'm going to turn the heat up so we get rid of the alcohol and reduce this. And then I think I'm going to even do a mantecade. Okay, I'm going to be abundant because that's really a major flavoring agent here. Let's see how we're doing on the consisty. Oh, you didn't tell me to check the fan. Oh, okay. It's getting there. It's going to be done in time after we finish this. Okay. Now, I said mantecade. That's when you add a little bit of goodness, a little bit more butter to finish up the sauce. Get this in here. And mantecade. See, this is, uh, this is starting to thicken up. That's what we want. A little bit more, and it should be fine. You want to reduce this sauce quite a bit, and it's getting there. I think we're pretty close. See? So you can see the pan. If I cut through it, that's about where we want it to be. Okay. So I'm just going to keep this warm on simmer, and let's see how the fennel's doing. Ah, another minute. Okay, I'm going to move this off the flame because I think it's a good consistency. This is a rustic sauce, so you don't have to worry. Let me pretty this up a little. There we go. Nice and nice. Hmm. Fresh fish, smell of the ocean. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit. I, I'd like to get a little bit more of this liquid gone. So I went up to medium. 
I'm nervous. I hope all of this is going to be edible. It's my first thing. So did I tell you if this is a success, we're going to launch a new series. Every uh, few days, I'm going to come back in the kitchen and we're going to have lunch with John. I'm going to show you what I'm cooking to eat that day. So that way you don't have to just depend on what I'd say about it in the post and the recipe. We're going back to the old days. You're going to see me cooking it. Okay, just need a little bit more heat. Let's see what we got going here. Nice. Okay, they're there. I don't want to burn myself. It's on a heavy casserole. Hold on, I need a, a bigger cloth. Here we go. Yep, looking good. I'll set them over here for a second. And I'm gonna shut everything off. Okay. Let me get another plate, and I'm just going to take a little bit and taste it for you. So I'll take a piece of fish. I think I like this little one right here. Oh, I didn't finish with the sauce. Okay. Yeah, this is a nice consistency. And then we're just going to pour, pour some of this and make sure we get some of the capers. There we go. Some back here. And some over here. Okay. I think this is looking good. Get that out of the way. What do I say? I'm going to take this piece over here. Here we go. And I guess I can use this. See how we got a little uh, color from the Parmesan. Just gonna take a couple of these. But they're hot. Put that over here. Okay. Clean this up a little bit. Uh, who cares? It's just me. Let's see. Let that cool a little bit. The moment of truth. Is it worth having lunch with Johnny? I hope so. What do I want to taste first? I'm going to taste the fish. See, it's still moist. Got some caper there. The sauce, wine, butter, capers. Oh my God, really good. The, the fish is moist, tender, flavorful. The wine and butter sauce, the capers, give it just a little bit of acidity. I was thinking about serving sliced lemon here and some parsley on top. I said the hell with it. Sometimes the best uh, ingredient is the one you leave out. Okay, let me check this. Wow. When you cook fennel, it gets a very mild flavor. Excuse me, it's a little hot in my mouth. But this really is a nice combination because you have the more predominant flavors with the sauce for the fish, and this kind of balances things out, settles your mouth until you go get another piece of fish. Okay, guys, this is the first lunch with Johnny, and hopefully you'll like it, and you'll tune in for the next one. Ciao tutti, keep on cooking, bon appetito. See you soon.